Show starts in five minutes. Fresh candies, all kinds, all flavors. Cigarettes, America's top brands. Ice cream, smoothly delicious. Burgers with all the fixings. Hot dogs, the way you like them. Freshly buttered popcorn. French fries. Hot coffee. Pizza that's perfection. Your attention, please. All new hotshot electric in-car heaters have been installed for your comfort and convenience. Just insert heater through car window and turn on the switch. When leaving, mm, well, please I turn switch off and replace on speaker post. Warning, high voltage. For your own safety, do not attempt to repair or remove wires. Do not attempt to open heater unit. If you need assistance, please notify the theater box office or concession manager. Show starts in four minutes. Visit our concession and see for yourself the delicious treats, drinks, and snacks awaiting you. If you are thirsty, try ice-cold soft drinks or a cup of hot, flavorful coffee. Get something to go with it, like a sizzling and satisfying hot dog or a tasty, tender sandwich. Try one of these delicious treats, and you'll be back at the concession for more before the show is over. The service at our concession is friendly and efficient. Show starts in three minutes. The big ship foundered on the rocks, but the crew all got ashore. Then fearless Fred dived in again and swam toward the wreck once more. You'll never make it! The waves are too high! But he made it back to land. I had to return to the ship. He explained. For my toddy, the chocolate drink that's just grand. Toddy does taste grand. At the snack bar or at your car. During intermission, enjoy a toddy, the delicious chocolate drink in a can. Ice cold or steaming hot, toddy hits the spot with everybody. See how much better that popcorn or those hot dogs taste with toddy. Mmm, delicious. Show starts in two minutes. Class, come to order, pay attention just once. We have a lesson to teach to the dunce. <laughs> Is the candy good conviction? Yeah, the tasty is perfection. Have we got a good selection? We invite your close inspection. Is the ice cream not delicious? Health is tasty, unnutritious. Is the popcorn crisp and healthful? Yeah, and it is sure a mouthful. Is the soda cold and fizzy? Vitamins keep the bubbles busy. Ah, that's good. The lesson is learned. The trip to the sweet spa you have earned. Now is time for intermission. Treat yourself to some nutrition. Show starts in one minute. a new taste treat. The corn dog. Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the refreshment corner now. 
corn dogs. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last-minute treat. I was ready for that. I wasn't doing something else. Hey, everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, am I, do I look presentable? Am I? Oh, when I lean away, I can't see. Oh, there I am. Okay. All right. That's kind of how I look. It looks normal. Hey, everyone. Who is... I should have had music ready. Who is ready for House Flipper? Oh, wow. I also have... We got House Flipper today. I don't know what I'm going to play. I, I actually haven't seen anything from this game. Um... So I don't really know mm, what a hamburger. What to expect. <laughs> and then I also have like a lot of mail. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. I got seven things to open today. It's been it's been a, a little while since I've streamed. Uh, what a hamburger. Well, my music's not loading, so let's just go ahead and. Open this guy. He bought truck simulator today. How's my birthday pie? My birthday pie was amazing. Coconut cream pie and like in between the crust and the coconut cream was homemade caramel with with coconut in it. Oh my god. Trader Joe's orange chicken was also delicious. Uh, I don't need to read the rules, right? <laughs> I deep fried. Ooh. Oh god! I deep fried Oreos yesterday. That was fun. Have I haven't had those before? What a hamburger. Delicious. Okay. Alright. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Horror Delight, thank you for the prime sub. Mikeum Twitch, thank you for the 14 months. Hey Ian, I missed the birthday stream, so happy late birthday. Hope it was a good one. Thank you, Mike. Borderline Otaku, thank you for the 11 months. Excellent. Thank you for the six months. Corn dogs. I love good corn dog. Left a joint. Thank you for the 300 bits. Good to see you streaming, Ian. Good to be back. It's been a little. I've been meaning to come back. I've just been, you know, not coming back. But uh, here I am. Uh, Snufty. Thank you for the eight months. Eight. That's all I got. Thanks, Snufty. What would Jedi do? Thank you for the two months. Yay for second month. I'm so glad to be here and have found this community. Thanks, Jedi. Jedi do. Can I just call you Jedi do? Uh, Dirty Phil Collins, thank you for the two months. Woohoo! Finally got a recurring sub going. I'm so ready to flip some houses. Me too. Cat Daily 710, thank you for the five dollars and change. Ian, I'm so glad you're streaming. I had a question. Mm, what a hamburger. I got a new 3D pin because my old one was too big, but I was wondering. I don't know what a 3D pin is. Aren't all pins 3D? Uh, what kind of laptop do you have? I want to modify a laptop shell yeah, bro, bust your face. as a late ass bidet gift for you, so I wanted to ask to be sure. Cheers. I have a MacBook Air, like a, a older MacBook Air. 
3D print pen. Oh, wow. You draw with plastic. That sounds hard. A bidet. Bidet gift. A gas mask will allow me to stay alive when the air will be polluted. What? Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Welcome to House Flipper. This game will allow you to buy, renovate, decorate, and sell houses. For now, however, you need to be content with this shack that you can call your office and the laptop that is your command center. I almost did Property, uh, Property Brothers title. You guys yum, yum. read that the uh, Flipper Flop lady is going to get her own spinoff? I wonder if the guy is. Tor Tark? Torek? 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 Oh, I got to turn off motion blur. That looks awful. Uh... Does my stream look okay? I'm looking at the my preview window and it looks like crap, but I can't tell if that's that could just be. Can I not turn off brightness effects? Looks good. Okay, thanks. Motion blur no. Bloom uh I'll leave the bloom on until I don't want it anymore. And I need to lower my mouse sensitivity? Is that a thing? I don't... Okay. Okay! Alright, alright. We're looking better. Do I have... One more thing. Wait. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! Okay, let's, uh... Dispose that. Let's dispose this. Just dispose mm, it. What a hamburger. It's just gone. It's time to check emails on my laptop. Well, that was... Okay. Pick up. Tip, I need to what hold the left. Hey, what is it? Hey, why it's buttercup? Popcorn. Scroll to rotate. Shift. Oh. Oh, well, I want that. I want the chainsaw. How do I use it? Use? I think I'm stuck mm, with this chain. No, wait. Okay. I really hope I can get my music to load. I want some nice jazz while I'm flipping these houses. Have you guys been? Did I, uh. Did I miss anything? How are you guys enjoying, uh, Mario Tennis? Dispose, dispose, dispose. Doing okay? Too expensive for you? I'm still, I'm still not sure how I feel about Mario Tennis, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm playing through the, I guess, adventure mode or whatever. Um, I really say that I don't... Mm, what a hamburger. I don't know how I feel about the racket breaking. There's so much, like, racket breaking, and I don't know how I feel about that. Laptop will allow you to find jobs, buy houses, and switch between them. You cannot afford to buy a house yet, but it looks like you already have your first email. 
I don't mind like the uh, like the pointing shooting special things. That's fine. But Corn dog. I don't know how I feel about the racket breaking. It's, it's way more fun to play with the breaking because it adds more to the match. I guess I feel differently. I guess I feel differently. I like, I don't know. Mario Tennis isn't the only like tennis game that I've played. I like, uh, you know, it's, it's not very tennisy. The racket break thing, it just doesn't feel it's, you know? Ex-boyfriend stole the radiator from my house. Hello, I'd like to hire your company to put my house in order. I know from photos posted on Face Spam that my ex-boyfriend broke into my house, made a huge mess, and stole the radiator. It is possible that something else is missing. Please make order in the house and replace the missing devices. I would ask you not to inform the police about the whole matter. I will settle it myself with my ex-boyfriend after returning from a business trip. Regards, Sarah Lewis. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Only old-fashioned furniture, please. Wait. I have unlocked a new tool. From now on, I will be able to clean dirty stuff using the mop. Oh, I've got to dispose of that. What's with all this... Oh, right, the boyfriend broke in. I'm gonna set the house in order? Yeah, but I don't know how I feel about Mario Tennis yet. I'm still playing it. I'm enjoying it the more I play it. At first, I was very... Honestly, the, the first day I played Mario Tennis, like when I finally got it and I sat down and played it, I ended the, the day very uh, disappointed. I was very upset, actually. Uh, from now on, you have a tablet at your disposal. Press tab to show or hide it. It will allow you to buy things, which can be useful in this job. Am I supposed to be buying... Th Is she going to pay me back for the stuff that I buy? I'm just supposed to mop up her crap, right? And I guess get a radiator. Let's dispose. Dispose. He steals a radiator, but not the TV. He doesn't need the TV, man. He was cold. Oh, I like this. Dispose, 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 dispose. I thought that the, I guess I thought that the story mode for Mario Tennis would also be like, like the GBA ones. It's not really a story mode. It's kind of like Candy Crush. It reminds me of Candy Crush a lot. I was expecting more Game Boy Advance story and less uh, Candy Crush. Where's my mop? There we go. Well, is there sound? I don't think people would have complained if they did a story like GBA. I mean, if they did the exact same story, people don't, you know, just because a game has a story mode doesn't mean it's like a ripoff. Just make it different. It doesn't help that Golf Story came out, and it was like a sports game with a good story, and it was fun, and it wasn't like Candy Crush. <laughs> that didn't help my expectations. Okay, well I mopped the wall. What's in here? Oh god. What did the boyfriend do? What? How much of this was the boyfriend? Corn dogs. 
How much was this, of this was the boyfriend and how much was maybe she just was dirty? Tip, I need to hold the left mouse button. Yes, that is that is what I have been doing. Yes. Okay. I see any weird loading screen tips about surviving? It's cause House Flipper has a free Apocalypse DLC? Well, that maybe we need to try. Okay. Oh my god, I just picked up the fucking sink! Uh, that's... This is above my pay grade here. We don't... Demolition, painting, building, handyman. I need... Oh my god. Ooh, Stardew Valley. I still have not played Stardew Valley. Still. Where's, uh... Radiator. Give a cheap old... Oh my god, I have to assemble it. Huh. Oh. Oh. You j you literally just click and hold and it does it. I kind of like that. <laughs> okay. Mount devices, clean up dirt, remove trash. Should I finish cleaning up dirt and removing trash? Where's the dirt? Where? Can I open the fridge? I think this is pretty... <laughs> Search for the dirt. I think this is pretty clean. I mean... I don't even see where the boyfriend supposedly broke in. I guess I expected like a shattered window or... Uh... Clean dirt, remove trash. How is there more trash? He walked through the door. Gotta get the upgrades that show dirt on the mini-map. Ooh. Oh, wait, there's some trash. Get those canned. Okay, I'm done with the trash. It's just the dirt now. Maybe if I just... Walk around doing this. Is it in here? I got it. I got it. I got it. It was in here. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Oh, it changes from room to room. So I know that the dirt is... I sense the dirt. My flipper flop senses tell me that th there's dirt in here. Oh, it's in the sink. She makes me clean her fucking sink. Okay. How do I complete... Uh... How do I... Okay, hold on. Uh, complete the order. Enter. You've done 100% order. You may now complete the order for $785. Are you sure you want to complete the order? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, anyone remember where I was on reading things? Uh. Oh, I'm back home. Danny, thank you for the prime sub. John C. 95 with 16 months. Psycho Caterpillar. Thanks for the four months. Thanks, guys. Animating Crayon, thanks for the six dollars and change. I don't have anything uh, particular to say, just hope you're doing well. I'm... Today's a, today's a pretty good day. 
I've been, uh, I've been checking out, I just started checking out, uh, Sim Seasons, and it has been an awesome update so far, so far. I'm planning on playing more today. We're still not on stream, but maybe some time. <laughs> I definitely think Seasons is worth it, and I haven't even seen everything. I have, I've have only seen one season so far. Cleaning the Garage from Caroline Smith. It kind of looks like Carol... Carol Smolth. Hello, we need to clean the garage. Please throw away all the boxes, trash, and old tires. Please don't forget to clean the window. It's better not to move the tools. My husband doesn't like when someone moves them and you can't find them afterward. Regards, Carol Smolth. In Sims 4, you can, like, so you have a calendar now in Seasons? You got a calendar, right? Shows you all the seasons and there's holidays that come up. But you can also edit the holidays and you can create your own holidays with different traditions and different things that happen on the day. It's so cool. It's so stinking cool. Yum, yum. Okay. Remove trash, clean the window, clean dirt. Don't move the tools. I'm talking about Sims 4. Sims 4 Seasons. They added a new gardening career. You can be a gardener now. They did a lot of stuff with gardening. A lot of new... Mm, well, uh, Cool furniture and outfits and stuff. Okay, don't move the tools. Oh, I guess I could have just come through the garage door. We could go through their house. We could go look around. What a hamburger. Thanks for the bits, Pumpy Lumpkin. Uh, Mastoria, thank you for the six months. Kita loves some. Thank you for the 24 months. Happy two years, Ian. Happy two years, Kita. Ziggly Nipple. Why is this not... I have to erase each little... Z <laughs> Ziggly Nipple, thank you for the 200 bits. I usually only watch VODs, but I'm free for this stream. And I'm so ex, ex, then I'm so ex. Seems good, excited, ex bit sided. <laughs> Thank you, Ziggly. I do use mods uh, for The Sims. I use some cosmetic mods, uh, like nail polish and different hair stuff. I use mm, what a hamburger. the drunk mod, so when you you have drinks, your guys your guys get dazed, which is fun. I have uh, the drugs mod, so I can grow weed. I have. I just recently had to delete a lot of them because of the new updates. They're like incompatible and game break and shit. I'm trying to think of what else I have. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes. We tried out the violence mod, but Sims would just randomly go around and murder other Sims, <laughs> so... Uh... That was fun until it was like, well, everyone is dying. I don't think I actually had that. I didn't get much use out of the violence mod. I deleted it before I had that problem. Is wait? Oh my god. Okay, rotate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. We're gonna put this nice bike right here. And we're going to put this nice bike. What a nice bike. Mm. 
No, I'm not stoned while streaming. I couldn't do that. Too stressful. Uh. Ewat Sonia. Thanks for the 25 months. I'm pretty certain this is supposed to just be 24 months, but regardless, it still almost feels like just yesterday I first subbed. Like just yesterday I first subbed. I need reading lessons. Thanks, you want Sonia? Yeah, a lot of you guys, I can't believe the months have, uh, don't touch the tools. Don't fucking touch the tools. Uh, like how quickly you guys have hit like 20 something months. It's insane. Time goes by too fast. How are these tires? Did they say in the email that these tires were trash? How do I know which tires are good tires and bad tires? You want a cool sword? Oh, do you see my, uh, my runescape dagger back there? Oh, can I want can I mop the tools? I gotta mop under the tools. Okay, and then I gotta clean the window I'm gonna shave the window Here oh, we go. Wow. Here we go Oh, this is fun Is this game long are there a lot of houses? I can oh, see this being wow. like, like a chill truck, kind of. Are there a lot of houses to, to flip? Okay. Chill house, yeah. No joke, cleaning is great. My birthday present to myself was a nice vacuum cleaner. I really wanted a cordless vacuum cleaner, and I've been vacuuming like every day since I got it. I'm so excited to fucking vacuum today. Holy shit. Okay. What do you got in here? No tasks in here, but... Yeah, I got a, I got a Dyson. I got a cordless Dyson. It's so fucking cool. Uh... Oh my god, it's so cool. It's so light, and I don't have to plug it in. Oh my god, I'm so excited to vacuum! No money in here. I like this house, though. They need to mow their yard. Vacuum cleaners are the perfect volume because you can jam out to music and people can't really hear you. I mean, they can hear you, but like not well enough, you know? Uh, jo Joruna F. Joruna F. Joruna F. Thanks for the two months. Hey, two months feels so exciting for some reason. I hope you're doing okay, Ian. I don't really know what to say that doesn't sound generic, so I'll leave it at that. Thank you. Joe, Joe Runna, is that, is that how I say it, Joe Runna? Have you noticed that by using the gallery tab on the tablet, you can choose any image from your hard disk? Oh, we don't wanna do that. You guys don't need to be looking at the images on my hard disk. We're going to avoid that, that tab. Ooh, you went on roller coasters? I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm telling you, all you got to do is you got to go on the big one and then you're good. You just got to get the nerve to go on the big one and then you're, you're totally, you're, you're in the clear. I know saying that will make you think it's worse than it is. I know. I know what I'm doing. Baby on the way! 
Hello, my beautiful wife is pregnant with our first child. They really do... People are very trusting with with home renovators. They just... Life story. Here you go. My beautiful wife is pregnant with our first child. We've also just bought a new three-bedroom home, which requires some repairs and decorating. We have no spare time to clean and renovate the house, so we need your help. Can you please clean the house and set up a nursery complete with crib, changing table, and maybe some toys? Uh, we know we will have a girl, so can you please paint the room light pink? Thank you so much, Matt Marlowe, soon to be dad. Well, yeah, I got it. Mop my baby. <laughs> Our new baby is so dirty, and we just don't have the time to clean it. Would you come clean my baby? Congratulations, you have unlocked a new tool. From now on, you will be able to paint walls with a brush. All you have to do is use the table, uh, the tablet, to buy paint. Use the table to buy paint. Borderline Otaku, thank you for the $10. Hey Moose, it's been a while. I'm finally not busy, so I can watch you stream. I, I'm having a hard time reading these today, uh, because st <laughs> Streamlabs is replacing most punctuation with weird uh, alt key numbers, so... Let, let's have some fun with some houses. Also, happy late birthday. Thank you, Borderline Otaku. Okay. Fix the baby. Hold on, I think I can put my jazz on. I think I can put my jazz on. Settings. Let's get rid of that. that baby is there like a baby makeover show surely that that's a thing right i guess that's kind of what like those uh kid pageant shows are in a way yeah toddlers and tiaras yeah okay can you hear uh love love chill and lounge Holy crap, XSplit is driving me crazy. You guys are gonna have to tell me if you can, if it's too loud or anything. I can't interact with XSplit right now. Oh, I have a gun. I have a money gun that sells shit. That would be awesome. I want a money gun that sells shit. Okay. Uh... Wait. This is someone else's house. Can I just sell all of their shit? Aggressive name your price tool. Dude, how weird. Has anyone else noticed that they're phasing flow out? Isn't that weird? We're reaching the end of an era. How long has flow been around? Like, just a month or so ago, I was like, holy crap, that's the first, like, progressive commercial without flow that I've seen in a long time. She's still around. Like, she's still in some of the commercials, but they're replacing him with that other, that guy. I've never been, like, a big fan, but, I mean, it's one of the longest, like, ad campaigns, right? Like, she's quite a spokesperson. It's weird to see her go. Yeah, see, the thing is, the con commercials are still going to be terrible and annoying. It's just going to be with some dude, some random annoying dude that you're not used to instead of flow. 
you know? Go with the flow. Did the baby do this? The baby, they're, they're still pregnant. They don't have the baby yet. I mean, flow is at least better than, like, ge the Geico gecko, I think. I miss the Geico money with eyeballs. That was a good, that was a good one. Is this one done? Clean dirt? No, I'm not done. Clean, clean the window. I gotta clean the window. Come on now. Dairy Queen commercials where it was just the floating mouth. Wait, that does sound familiar. Okay, that's clean, right? I'm, I'm done, right? That's clean. Get me out of here. Get. Oh. What is it? What is it? Hey, why it's butter? Oh, there's a spot. There's a spot. There's another spot. How is this window not clean yet? Okay, all right, I got it. Mm, what a hamburger. Chick-fil-A have a cow in their commercial? Chick-fil-A, yeah. Chick-fil-A was uh, the cows with the eat more chicken signs. Though, I don't know if they still... I saw, I think I, I feel like I saw a Chick-fil-A commercial that did not have them in there. It was just a bunch of people eating Chick-fil-A. Which honestly is a better commercial. Chick-fil-A breakfast is delicious. They're chicken biscuits. Oh my god. I tried the new, uh, fresh beef quarter pounder at McDonald's. Fast food advertising really works on me. <laughs> I wasn't into it. Their cheeseburgers are still better. McDonald's cheeseburgers. Okay. Never seen a Chick-fil-A? They're so good. Chicken minis, yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, beep beep. Love for music 92. Thank you for the four months. I'm finally able to catch you live. I'm moving to Michigan from Florida in two months for my first real job, and I'm terrified. Your VODs always make me feel better. Hope you're doing well, and happy four months. Hey, good luck with that move, love for music 92. Try not to be, I mean, telling people not to be terrified doesn't make anyone any less terrified, but moving is exciting. It'll be a fun, I think you'll have a good time. And nobody's telling you, telling you you gotta stay there forever. You know? Okay. Got it. Clean the window. Clean the dirt. Excited, but scared. Uh, that should be a pretty big uh, climate change, too. Florida, from Florida to, uh, what would you say, Michigan? I'm gonna make all oh, the no. money now. He's gonna make all the money Does this, does standing on crap make it more dirty? Where's the rest of this dirt? What's dirty? Is it the sink?
What's... Oh, I have an upgrade available. Price negotiation. Option to negotiate the price. Uh, quick orders. Uh, higher payment. Oh, I want that. Give me more money. Yeah. In the fridge? I don't know if I can open the fridge. What a hamburger. It's probably not worth looking for. It's probably dirt like behind a couch or something. Is that dirt on the... Is that dirt? It sure looks like dirt. This game is going to be bad for me because I'm going to need to get all of the dirt. It's 96%. It's fine. It's clean. It's clean. We got to give up. 100%ing this game. We're not gonna 100%. Mm, what a hamburger. Uh, we're not gonna 100% house flipper. Under the radiator? Okay, well, I'll go check that. Under the radiator. Oh, it is under the radiator! How did you see that? How did you guys see that? And I did not see that. Okay. Uh... Streamer blindness, that's true. People get so mad at me. Oh my god, a couple people, a couple VOD watchers have been very disappointed <laughs> in uh, some of my uh, Central High playthrough. A couple comments when they're at the soccer game and they're like voting on the, uh, if they want that kid to play soccer with them or not a couple people are saying that they don't want him to play with them because he's gay and i i don't know if that's true or not because i haven't like i haven't caught that if that's what they're i i just i haven't caught it i'm too distracted by the soccer song and the aliens but someone was like, I'm very disappointed that you didn't catch that or something. I'm like, very... Yeah, it may have been uh, it may have been coded, but also it's like, you know, when I'm streaming, I'm I'm reading chat, I'm trying to, you know, talk a little and be semi entertaining and you know, I miss things. It could have been as, from my interpretation, what I caught in that scene, it could be anything. They just, all I, all I know, when I see that scene, I think they're just voting on some person they don't want to play soccer with. Where's all this dirt? Oh, it's in the sink. Do I need to clean the... How do I clean the walls? There's definitely dirt on these walls. Oh, windowsill. Oh, on the toilet. I got it. Got it. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how I feel in gym. I didn't get that impression, but I also didn't really understand what was going on anyway, so it could be. When are we playing Central High again? I don't know. When I feel like it. I'm gonna try and not make any hard commitments, because I haven't been good at keeping up my stream commitments, so I need to just chillax with, you know? I want to do everything, but the reality of the situation is I can't. <laughs> I can't, so. Oh, wow. I need to chill. Uh, okay, I need to, uh... I need to read some. I'm getting, I'm falling behind here. 
Right now, this is basically Maid Simulator. We're not really doing flip or flop. We're really just cleaning after people. Uh, Pair of the Stars. Thank you for the three months. Hey, ya dude, I've got a fever and a killer migraine, etum, so I don't think I'll be staying for the stream, but I hope you have fun flipping houses. See ya on the VOD. Hope you're feeling better if you're watching on the VOD. And thank you very much. Love the way I wield that broom. <laughs> I don't know if this was a reference to your streams, but you saw Jared mention Supercrack in his Detroit. I hope so. I hope if if Jared made a fucking Central High reference in his Detroit playthrough, that would bring me much joy. I don't think I've gotten to your sub message yet, Tyran Trex. I'm slowly making my way through them. Where's the last? Oh, there it is. Where? Okay. I have been a window cleaner as well. I was a janitor. I know how to clean a window, but I also use the window cleaning time as an excuse to like look over and, and read something, you know? I'm cleaning while distracted. Mm, what Can I mop hamburger. the bed? Do I need to mop the pillows? Ree, ree. That's what the that's what it sounds like. Ree. Actually, that's just my sound effect for most things. Clean dirt. Clean. Where's the rest of the dirt? Where that dirt? Is it? Oh, there it is. Do I need to move the furniture? Is that part of it? Okay, it's not. Not yet, at least. Sell the bed. I'm gonna go into somebody's house and just sell all their shit one of these days. I'm not done with the dirt in here. I mean, this thing sure looks dirty. Do I need to... I don't, I don't see dirt in that room. Okay, is this the nursery room? Okay, this is the nursery room. Sell the baby. <laughs> I am still using the standing desk. I don't stand too much with it. I, I've been using my uh, weird posture, posture chair instead of standing. So it's more slight adjustments than a, a big old thing. Get rid of all this garbage. I guess this was just their trash room. Mike Cobella. Thanks so much for the three dollars. I feel like this mop is, you have to be so precise. I feel like it should be a little more forgiving because it's a giant mop. 
Mike says, after watching your streams and going back and forth, I finally decided to get Animal Crossing New Leaf. Thank you so much for encouraging me with your awesome AC streams and with the power of Bob. Keep up the good work. I hope you're enjoying it. New Leaf is amazing. New Leaf has to be one of my favorite games. Because Animal Crossing is definitely... Uh, one of my favorite series, and that's my favorite entry, so... Immediately Addicted. I wish I could play Animal Crossing for, like, the first time. You know? The closest I can get to that is a new game. Though it doesn't always work. It didn't work with City Folk. Okay. Okay. Clean that window. Clean that window. Stag with antlers. Thank you for the $5 and change. Hope you enjoy installing radiators. So far, so good. I am actually really enjoying this game so far. Very, I don't know. Something about cleaning these windows, man. There we go. Uh, place object crib, remove dirt. Let's finish removing the dirt first. I'm gonna see if, let's see if we need to move. No dirt. Oh, it's on the window sills. I always forget about the stupid window sills. Well. Gonna drive me crazy. Where is it? <laughs> On the ceiling? I don't... Uh, so far, I don't think I've seen any dirt on the ceiling. It's gotta be on the ground somewhere. There's gotta be like a dot, like a little dot that I missed. There's gonna be a baby in here. It needs to be, you know, it's gotta be clean. On second thought, fuck that baby. Mm, what a hamburger. I wanna paint the wall. Let's buy some, let's buy some paint. paint pink pastel pink is that different than light pink uh, do I need to put oh hi Jeff do I need to put like tape on the wall or like you know anything on the ground oh my god my arms oh i'm so skinny it's too real that's what i look like look at how malnourished i look oh my god too real See some serious coinage here. That's big money. Excellent. Oh, Vanna. I 
I don't like those arms. I wish I could put on like a shirt or something. Uh, Randy Danger, thank you for the three dollars. Hey there, Ian. Thought I'd drop a few dollars for you. Also, I heard you. I heard you have some mail. If my cookbook is there, turn it to page one hundred two to see that horrific monstrosity. Thanks, Randy. I'll try to remember to do that if I if it's here. The house flipper is naked. I like that timeline. Maybe that's why no one's ever around when I'm doing these things. Yeah, he's great at what he does, but he doesn't wear anything and he's like a skeleton person. Oh, it's the whole room? I thought I was just replacing the yellow. Is there like fake? I can't tell. Graphics. Green. I knew it. I thought my eyes, I thought I was going crazy. I have to buy more paint? Uh, wait. Ooh, I can upgrade painting. You won't waste any paint on an already painted wall. I like that. Yeah. Uh, Maniac Ophelia. Thank you for the two dollars. Don't do the windows. Don't forget to do the windows. I can't. Oh, I can up here though. Oh. Oh, I see what you mean. Your favorite song. <laughs> Get. I am playing. I'm painting with closed windows and a closed door. I shut the door. Maybe this is what they were talking about with the gas mask. Uh, Manicophilia. Thank you for the $2. At work and can't watch now, but sending ya a quick yum yum. I'll catch the VOD later. Thank you so much. Thank you for the yum. Thank you for the yum yum. I don't like that. Paint your arms. I wish I could. I wish I could just like paint. I wish I could paint everything. I wish I could go crazy with the paint. Let's move. Let's move. Okay. Okay. Writing squiggle. Thanks for the four months. Whack. 
whack. Am I whack? Am I whack? Is someone hip here? Anyone? Anyone in the chat hip? We got any cool guys? Hey, we met the minimum progress though. I could just leave it like this. <laughs> I have a hip. <sighs> okay. Wait. What? How is it only 95%? Oh! I was doing something. 96... 95... Oh, there's like a little... Look at these little things. Okay. Okay. Mmm, what a hamburger. Do I should I get a crib? I mean I guess I don't have to give give them a crib. Crib? Crib. Crib. Color? I like the brown one. Oh, they won't like the blue. Put this on top of the. I want to put it on top of the door like a prank. Put it here. Maybe someone will. Will step on it there. Yeah, let's complete that order. There's only enough water for a week, and we'll probably be a month here. Slayable. Thank you for subscribing. Odd Man Out 06. Thank you for the Prime sub. Symbol Knight. Thank you for the 29 months. That's a lot of months. Yo! Almost 30 months. Crazy. I'm gonna go out so I can't stay, but love ya as always. Stay cool, stream. Thank you so much. Creeping up on that 30. I need to do new like badges or whatever. I need to I need to make the next one. I don't want to clean. I clean for a living. I don't want to Wait, are there more radiators? I will pay you if I am fully satisfied or you get nothing. Winter is coming. The winters are hard and there are no radiators in my house. Mount them. Oh, okay, that guy sounds cool. Wait, this is the same, is this the same house? Uh, okay. 
Well, that's already there. Do I have to buy them? Wait. Just regular radiator. I don't want the big radiator. Creepy Cat X. Cat X. Thanks for the three months. A quarter of a year. Thanks, Ian, for always being so chill, and I can't wait to see what's in store for your channel. Much love. Thank you so much, Creepy Cat X. Uh, I am working on two videos at the same time currently. Um. I just filmed a new food. Get it, get it, get it, and get it. I'm also working on a movie review. So that's what's that's what's on the horizon. Haven't done a movie in a little while. I, I almost wanted to do a movie next because then it would have been like food review, food review, uh, game review, what are the other things I do? Unbox video, it would have just been like a string of very different videos in a row, but I gotta do another food one first. Owl radiator. What? Oh. Oh. I feel like I'm uh, assembling IKEA furniture. The next video is a gardening tip video. What if it was though? If I started doing gardening tips. I don't know any gardening tips. Uh, plant. Plant your plants in the ground. Uh, by a sink. Miracle grow? More like miracle no. Thank you, not in my garden. Uh, is that connected? Open, no. Oh. I can buy s I want to how how Is this the wrong sink? Did I get the wrong sink? Yes, I did get the wrong sink. I need my money gun. Where's that money gun? Where's the money gun? How do I not have the money gun? Did I lose tools? Change the tool, use the tool. I think I need a mountable sink. I don't think this is a mountable sink. There's one that specifically says mountable sink on it. 
How do I get rid? How do I? S I don't want this though. Uh. Put it there and open the cap. Oh. 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 Oh, that would make sense. I can't. F what do you mean? F I can't. Can I crouch? Climb in. Knock the wall out. I want to sell it with the money gun, but I don't. It's my money gun is gone. All I have, I don't even have paint anymore. I just have clean. Let's move this, and then let's see. Let's see if this one works. Yeah, see, this is the sink I was supposed to get. Oh, how did I go inside the sink? Ooh. Uh, oh. Don't mind me. I mean to hang a picture in your den for like six months. Dude, I've finally been hanging shit that's been sitting around since I moved here. There's still a couple things that I don't want to do. I haven't done yet. Okay. So we're done, right? We've mounted the four to, but uh, I guess I'll just I prefer modern furnishing, dude. Leighton Ronpa, thank you for the seven months. Tyran T Rex, Tyrant Rex, thanks for the nine months. Hey Ian, wow, nine months. I need to get caught up on a few of your videos. I just got moved into a new house and finals week really set me back on videos. Looking forward to having some late laughs. Thanks so much, Tyrant Rex. Clean, <laughs> clean your shack, no. No. Interior design video? Uh, never, probably. I have to clean for work all day. I don't, I don't wanna clean at home. I don't wanna bring work home. Oh, here we go. Walls to knock down. Mer or mers. Recently, large rooms have become popular which is proven by the fact that my neighbor and the neighbor of my neighbor demolished several walls in their homes. I would also like to have several walls demolished in my house. The walls between the living room and the kitchen and corridor seem unnecessary. What is more, the neighbor from across the street painted the walls in her bedroom. Why does she know what all the... Or why does he know what all the his neighbors are doing painted the walls in her bedroom with a bright blue sky color and i would also love to have the same i believe that such a professional company will deal with my request at a very low cost without any problems 
Best regards, Anthony Gray. Well. I need a place for my science magazines. Since that guy. Probably because they interact with each other as neighbors often do. Well, that's a fun that's a fun imaginative way imaginative way to look at it. Odd Man Out 06. Thank you for the ten dollars. Hey Ian. My wife, Landface, finally convinced me to get on board the Twitch train. I hope you had a great bidet. Thanks, Odd Man Out. Hello, uh, Lana, Lana Face. Lana, Lana Face. Lana, Lana Face. Thanks so much for that. Okay, so we gotta paint rooms. We gotta modify, okay. Modify walls. Do I have the cell gun? What do I have? I do, the cell gun is back, but that's not what I want right now. Uh, does anyone remember which walls they wanted knocked out? Is it this one? Maybe it's this one. Wow. Red walls on my mini map. Is this one of the walls? It's yellow, what does that mean? He just, he just wants an open co- Oh god, that's dangerous. That's fine. He just wants open concept, dude. As long as it's open concept, he'll be fine. Oh. I'd be so, I mean, I guess maybe not pissed, but if I told my neighbor all the cool things I was doing at my house, and then a week later he came back and he was like, I did literally everything you just did to your house. I did that to my house. New demolition skill available. Well, I definitely want faster demolition. Yeah, faster. Faster. Okay, looking good. This is not faster. Is this faster? This is the last game you added to your Steam Wish. I wanted to stream this for a little while. I got an email about it forever ago. They sent me a code. And then I guess the game moved in like out of alpha into beta or something and they emailed me again with a code. Um. But then other people started streaming it, and I, you know, not that just because someone's streaming something, I won't do it, but I like to try and provide something different than what's, you know, going on. So I held off for a little bit, but it seemed nice and relaxing. I 
I cannot destroy the wall with the pipes. So I can't destroy... I can destroy this wall. Jibby, thanks for the five months. Five month hype. What kind of design, what kind of house designs do you guys like? I'm really not into like super modern. I'm sure that's very shocking and surprising. I like like that uh, mid-century modern. Hell yeah. I also like like 90s, you know, kind of ugly. <laughs> 90s ugly houses. Yum, yum. 50s and 70s. I really would love, like, a sunken living room. I love, like, split-level houses or, you know, something funky where you got, like, those half stories almost. I love crap like that. I think sunken living rooms are so cool. Oh, the light switch is on the ground. I can't do like the modern, like all, ev everything white and like minimalist kinda. I can't, that's not my, my jam. Oh my god, house like a Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch would be awesome. You got that wood paneling, you got indoor brick, shag carpeting, you got astroturf. It's the perfect house. Yum, yum. The staircase, I love the, uh, I was gonna say the way the stairs looked, but that's just the same thing as saying that I love how the staircase looks, so. Who likes, anyone here not like carpet? I know that's a big thing, I love carpet. And I hate that people don't like carpet because there's, when it comes to like houses and apartments and stuff, a lot of people replace carpet with like wood flooring and stuff. And I'm not into that. I could see like, especially when it comes to like pets, if you got a lot of pets or something. I, I grew up with the carpet too. It just feels, I don't know. It feels more cozy. It feels more homey to me than like, uh, like wood, wood floors. I guess I gotta take this. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, old carpet, like really old carpet, should probably be replaced, but I would still replace it with more carpet. Allergies? That makes sense. That makes sense. I'm definitely, uh, definitely all about that carpet I need. Man, like the, la the last apartment I had, that shag carpet I had was awesome. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can put rugs on wood floors, but it's not the same. I don't like vacuuming rugs. Vacuuming rugs is a pain because you always like s suck up the edges, you know? Okay, the walls have been modified. Um, paint the colors sleepy blue. Uh, which walls? Am I keeping the doors? I mean, it doesn't say to not keep the doors. It doesn't say to get rid of the doors. Sleepy blue. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'll paint. It's probably this, this room, right? Oh, that didn't get me any closer to this. No. Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out what room it wanted me to paint. Okay. All right, we're going, we're going. Hertog's Tin. Thank you so much for the $23.36. Very, very generous. Thank you so much. It says, fix for the VODs. You what for the VODs. You what? Thanks for watching. Now I can paint a wall. Did I need to clean this? Or are we just not cleaning? Oh, I hate that. I hate looking at my elbow pit, whatever that part of the arm is called. <laughs> the bend. It's not just the joint though, it's the inside of the arm, it's not the elbow, you know? It's, it's like this part. The ditch. I don't know. I don't know about these names. Secondary armpit makes the forearm pit, huh? The forearm pit. Sure, there's a lot of paint. The farm pit. Uh, Met Met Metis of Arabia. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, monolith, monolithic void. Thanks for the prime sub. Felipe plays Madden. Thanks for the seven months. Call it the inner elbow. That makes sense. That makes sense. D Doink in peace. Thanks for the prime sub. I don't know, I'm out of paint. The 
Am I standing in the paint? I have another painting perk. That's kind of what I was looking for, but I don't. Oh, perk. Painting. Perk. Um, I want to paint faster. Ooh, two walls at the same time might be good. Should I go faster or should I paint two walls? I think paint more might be a better. I think that two at the same time might be faster than 25% faster. How do I? Oh, there we go. How do... Click and drag across walls? Interesting. So you click, drag to the second one. I wish... Is there a perk that lets my paintbrush hold more paint? Dang. I do just want to throw the can around. I want infinite paint. Surely there's like a paintbrush that, like this, like a roller paintbrush that has paint, like a paint hose that pumps the paint up into the brush. Surely that's a thing, right? Hey, handlebar. Oh my god, I really don't like having to refill the paint. Spray paint would be good, yeah. Do they spray paint indoor walls though? Is that a thing? Ooh, I should sell the bucket. I wonder, can I sell, uh... I shouldn't do this. That immoral. I'm not that kind of guy. I don't want to earn money this way. We're not playing Thief Simulator. I don't want to earn money this way. I want to play Thief Simulator. Well, I need more paint now. There should be a perk. There should be a thief perk. Okay. <laughs> starring Bakura. Dude, give me that game. Give me any game starring Bakura. Oh my god, I really hate having to refill this thing. I hope I get that. I hope I get a perk like that. Breathing simulator starring Bakura? I don't know. It depends on the gameplay for that. Oh my god.
Okay. Is this all the living room now? Is that why there's so much? Okay, well, we can complete it now. This looks done, right? Looks... <laughs> that's looking pretty good. What's that? Oh, that's the bedroom. You can see right in. I can complete, complete the order for three grand. Hell yeah, dude. Making that big money. Factory Assassin, thanks for subscribing. Is Tara 333, thank you for the 1500 bits. Just binge watch your Televoid series. It has to be one of my favorite shows on YouTube. Creative AF. I also enjoy your chill streams here. Thanks, Ian. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'd love to do more Televoid at some point. Matty F, thanks for the Prime sub. Malachite, thank you for the 20 months. I just really want to hear the word scrumptious said out loud today. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. Um, I wanna additional walls. I wanna clean up some students. Good morning. I hope you can help me. I am retired and not in the best of health. I currently own an apartment that I have been renting to students for many years. This year, unfortunately, I rented to a bad bunch of students, which turned out not to be the best decision. They didn't pay on time, so I went check things out. When I opened the door, I almost had a heart attack. The whole house was a pigsty. There was trash, liquor bottles, and mud everywhere, and they were laying on the kitchen floor drinking. When I spoke to them, they rudely told me to go away. I finally got them evicted, but the mess still remains. Some of the furniture and radiators are missing. Can you please clean up my house and make it suitable for new tenants so I can put this mess behind me? Yours sincerely, Nick Flo. I'll take that job. I'll take that job. Left a joint. Thank you for the bits. Been farming ad bits while I chill clean IRL. So have another dollar, Ian. Thank you. Uh, Portland Sky. Thank you for the 200 bits. Hey, Ian. Love all your vids. Also, nice open floor plan bathroom. It's all the rage. Open floor plan bathrooms included. It's new trend. Mmm, what a hamburger. Okay, so this apparently gave him a heart attack. I cleaned this up in under a minute. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Clean it, clean it, clean it, clean it. Clean it, clean it, clean it. Mop that wall, mop that wall. Clean it, clean, clean. Disposed. Bagged spaghetti. Thank you for the 200 bits. Ian, please, you're killing me here. Is it because of my uh, awesome home renos? Is this bugging anybody, the way I'm cleaning this window?
Live High, thank you so much for the three months. Is it, have I asked this before? Is it Live High or is it Live High? Mmm, what a hamburger. Okay, this room, remove trash, mount devices. The first one, I want to live, kind of live. I like that example. Okay, I need to buy a radiator. Store. Ready. Oh, wait. Uh, Ewan Sonia, thanks for gifting that sub to Primil... Uh, I can never say... Primilla Rose. Primilla Rose. I pronounce it... Li live... Live high. Live high. Together it doesn't change it. Live... Live high. Uh... Ralphio, thanks for the prime sub. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Paint with the colors white. Oh, I liked that poster. Uh, 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 uh tab. Uh, paint white. I can't only not just pronounce names. I just can't pronounce anything. That's just... Ian is definitely not awesome. Ian is definitely a little dyslexic. <laughs> mm, what a hamburger. Words... Words have, have never really been my friend. The written words. Written words, writing words... The source of many embarrassing moments in school. <laughs> Sometimes it's intentional, but that's, you guys gotta figure that one out. Dyslexics can be awesome, I just can't be awesome. Live high, thanks for gifting that sub to Xmax 300 mm, what a Freaks. Was this where the teenagers were passed out drinking? I guess so, it's with all the bottles. Do you guys have a favorite, uh... HGTV show? Snail Polish! I like that name, have I said that before? Thank you for the two months. Happy two month anniversary, Moose. I feel like I should be able to like auto refill paint, like buy more. I should be able to click it and just click like buy more. Ooh, love it or list it. Property bros. House Hunters is my favorite. The problem I have with a lot of HGTV reno shows is a lot of their, a lot of the people that renovate on HGTV have the same like style. So a lot of their reno shows, like the houses end up looking exactly the same. And it's not, it's not a, a renovation style that I would want. So it's like, eh.
House Hunters and the one based in Waco? That's, uh... That's with Chip and Joanna. What's it? Fixer Upper? Fixer Upper is in Waco. They're okay. I think Fixer Upper does some m that aren't so HGTV. They do a little more... Well, I don't know. I don't like that show because it's they make it too much about them. It's like, let's renovate this house, and also we're in love. I gotta tear down this wall, and our relationship is so great right now. What am I, oh, the windows. Maybe. I don't mind people being in love, I just don't necessarily want it in my home renovation shows. That's not what I watch HGTV for. It's like, uh... It's the same reason I'm not into, uh, what's that Food Network lady, Pioneer Woman? Cause, like, 75% of the show is, like, about her family. <laughs> it's like, I just want to see the food. But I get it, though. That's how they get- how else are they gonna get you invested in- Oh, I gotta refill the paint roller. How- how else are they gonna get you invested in, like, the people? Like, they want you to stick around for the people, so they gotta make it about the people a little bit. Oh, it's behind the radio. I like House Hunters because it's usually pretty quick. It's- and you just get to see a bunch of different houses. It seems like it would be fun to go out and just look at houses that are for sale. And you can do that with House Hunters without having to leave the room. Can, oh, I need a gun. I also really like Tiny House Hunters. Because Tiny House, House Hunters is always people going, It's so small though. Where's all my stuff gonna go? And it just makes me laugh. I have five kids and two dogs, and I'm gonna get a tiny house. It's my favorite. I saw one where they had like two or three kids and they bought an old school bus and lived in a- they ended up buying a school bus to live in. <laughs> like an old school bus. Oh my god. Oh my god! I don't like cockroaches. I can't handle cockroaches. I have other people handle cockroaches for me. I remember freshmen. I, I definitely saw more cockroaches in Texas than I do up in Washington. I don't know that I've seen one up here actually. But I remember freshman year just, I kept having to have my roommate. <laughs> Joel, there's a cockroach I need you to get. <laughs> oh. It's already been two hours? Holy crap, I really like this game. <laughs> Do they, do they keep adding more stuff for you to do? Because so far, I've been really into those. I, I can't stomp on them. They're too big. Cockroaches are too, like, big and, like... <laughs> juicy? <laughs> to just step on? I can't. I can't handle that. If anything, I would put, like, traps. I have tra Like, I've had to get... I'll, I'll, like, if I have to, you know? 
It's not something I physically can't do, but if someone else is there, I will make them do it for me. I will be like, uh... I would not... I probably wouldn't step on them to get it, though. Maybe hit them with a shoe? Uh, thanks for the bits, Gina, Bobina, and Buzz. Ooh. Ooh. New Sonic comic on the way. Clean, there we go. Hold a gun to their head. I just, I would rather have to deal with like a spider, you know, than a cockroach. That's just where I'm at with cockroaches. Clean the window. The window's clean. Is this one clean? This one's not clean. I'm fine with spiders. Like, unless they look like a, like a poisonous spider, otherwise I'm fine. Like, I'm not gonna go fuck with a black widow or something. What a Honestly, the only spiders that really freak me out are like brown recluses. I'm terrified that I'm gonna get bit by a brown rec recluse and die. Just cause they're just like boring ass spiders. Pathologist. An author who brings his pet hissing cockroaches to readings? No, thank you. I'm fine if you want to have a pet cockroach, just I don't want anything to do with it, you know? Uh, what else do I have to... Is this a mattress? Is this a mattress that somebody hollowed out and... Where's the dirt? There's so much dirt. Where's the dirt? Oh, there's the dirt. Look at that dirt. Mm, what a hamburger. If you were an animal, what sound would you like to make? You want to hiss? Do you want to moo? Scream, I like that. I like that. I would want to be like the screaming goats. Ooh, quack would be a good one too. Quack would be a good one. Lots of meows. Lots of people want to meow. Ooh, toot fart. Perfect. I'd be like Bob. I like scream. I like the scream idea. Mm, what a hamburger! <laughs> like the goat that sounds like a person being like stabbed or something. That's what I. That's what I want to sound like. Screech, why? That would actually be... <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Get it, get it, get it, get we came across this it, new animal it. and it's a majestic call. Why? <laughs> uh, DJ Convoy, thank you for the prime sub. Oh dear God, thank you for subscribing. Ash... Ashbs, Ashubs, Ashubs, one thousand two hundred twenty-four. Thank you for the prime sub and De Wonder Spawns. Thank you for the sixteen months. Yay, sixteen months! Thanks for getting me into MST three K. This is where the fish lives. One of the best lines. One of the best lines. I can't find the rest of the stupid dirt. So fuck it. Fuck the dirt. Oh my god. 
this is where the fish lives. When there's just a touch of Satan in your heart. So many good lines from Touch of Satan. I like za. Za. When the old lady looks in the mirror, <laughs> a wrinkle. That movie is great. There's the old the grandmas going around killing people. Oh my god. I can't wait to get- I need to watch more Mr. Sam. I need to get back on the MST grind. I need to get back to Touch of Satan. It's been too long. Touch of Satan. So it's a Mystery Science Theater episode. It's over a- if you don't know what Mystery Science Theater is, it's a show where they watch bad movies and talk over it. And they do an episode called The Touch of Satan. It's like a movie's from what, the 70s? I'm not sure exactly. But uh, it's about it's about a family of people and one of the ladies there sold her soul to the devil years ago or some shit. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's just great. MST3K collection I got in the mail have that episode? It might. Is it a is it on 10? Is it a 10.2 episode? Oh my god. The show is called Mystery Science Theater 3000. Manos the Hands of Fate is also a great one. That movie's about a cult. People in a cult. Uh Canadians. <laughs> Some Canadians in a cult. Manos. Manos is legendary, but you can't start people out on Manos. I don't think you can start people out on Manos because it's too slow. Where's the other device I have to mount? Uh, what is this? You're playing Fallout 4 as Razdower. Razdower? Rousdower. Why'd I call him Razdower? I can buy washer and mount it here. Washer. That is a classic Rousdowerism. Would I reckon Okay, I say I I have recommended people to start on the episode Touch of Satan many times. I've started people out on Mystery Mystery Science Theater on Touch of Satan. I think it's a great starter episode. It's a solid episode without being the best episode. I don't think you can start people out on like Space Mutiny either. If you start too high, you know, you want to have really good episodes to look forward to. So I think Touch of Satan is a really solid episode that's not like, you know, a perfect episode. It's a great starter episode. Okay. I really like uh, Girl in Gold Boots. I'm excited to get to that episode again. That was my favorite episode for a while, was Girl in Gold Boots. What? What am I doing here? Oh. Oh, Pod People is great. Oh my god. I should do a stream where I just talk about Mystery Science Theater. Because I want to talk about all these references from the episode. But I know people are, that haven't seen it aren't going to understand what the hell I'm talking about. Clean the window. Clean the window.
They went to space, made a short running joke about timers. I'm not sure. Time chasers? Oh my god! I want to see time chasers again. Time chasers is a great one where that this guy, he's he invents a plane that can go back in time, and then like some evil corporation starts stealing the tech, and they have to go back to like the Civil War era or some shit. <laughs> Oh no, it'd be Revolutionary War? Whichever fucking war. What war do they go to in Time Chasers? It's been a while. Oh my god, that one's so good though. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna move on from this. I would love to talk about Mystery Science Theater for the rest of the day, but... What else do we got going on? What's, uh... What is... What have people been watching? I just finished, uh... Oh my god, I accidentally moved in the window. Oh... Uh, it's okay. Yu-Gi-Oh! I haven't been watching any SGDQ, SGDQ this year. Westworld, Cake Wars, not watching any of these. Oh god, it's Martin. I recognized it right before the voice started. It's fucking Martin Carl Carlberg. You asshole. I just watch like competition shows. Like MasterChef. Has anyone watched Gordon Ramsay's new show? Uh, it's pretty silly. <laughs> 24 hours to hell and back. Oh, there's a trash box right there. See ya, Yog KB. Thanks for hanging out. 24, okay, so Gordon Ramsay has a new show called 24 Hours to Hell and Back. And it's literally Kitchen Nightmares, but he does it in a day. <laughs> For no other reason than I can think he just he just got tired of spending so much time at these shitty restaurants. He was like, we got to do a format where I'm in and out in like a day. I don't want to be there much longer. Because in the intro, he's just like, for years, I've renovated all these kitchen, kitchens and saved all these restaurants. But now I know that I have to take it up a level. I have to do it in 24 hours. And every time he says that in the intro, I yell at the TV go and I go, why, Gordon? Why do you have to do it in 24 hours? You have not explained that to me. But it's like the last episode, the last episode dealt with some guy who like his son got shot, which is super sad and everything. But he's like, I gotta deal, we gotta deal with this. You gotta move on from your dead son. And it's like, in 20, you're gonna give him counseling in a day? He's gonna get over his son in a day? What are you talking about, Gordon? What are you talking about, Gordon? <laughs> It's it's pretty it's pretty messy, but it's still fun to watch because because it's, it's Gordon Ramsay. I miss I miss Kitchen Nightmares, and I also miss Hotel Hell. I wish they'd come back with Hotel Hell.
timelines in the shows are wrong. Oh yeah, I mean, it's reality TV, so it's all a fucking lie. <laughs> it's a lie, but it's a lie that I like to watch. Oh, hello. Beep, beep to you too. Hotel Hell had a terrible intro, are you kidding me? Hotel Hell! I can't find the dirt, I'm not. Oh my god, I guess I gotta go out here. I don't like... A vacuum cleaner? I don't have a vacuum cleaner! Pull out vacuum cleaner. Ooh, I have a vacuum cleaner. Dude! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I didn't see that. I can chase cockroaches around with my new cordless vacuum cleaner! I don't even have to get close! Thanks. Thanks, House Flipper, for changing my life. Giving me a new, uh... A new strategy. But now they're in the vacuum, but oh my god, I don't like when they're all in a clump like this. Just standing on garbage, vacuuming cockroaches. I'm like Gordon Ramsay right now. Gordon Ramsay would open the trash can and pull out a steak or something and be like, you're planning on serving this? You keep your steak in the garbage bin? I actually haven't seen the F word. Isn't that like a serious... I don't like the Gordon Ramsay shows where he's... I, the only one I can take is MasterChef. I like MasterChef there because he's not too over the top, but he's still a little over the top. Um... But when he's just talking to me about food, I zone out. He needs to be, like, yelling at somebody. <laughs> uh, 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 Sue Aspiria, thank you for the five dollars. Happy belated birthday, Ian. I couldn't join your birthday stream because a friend of mine was celebrating her birthday, too. Keep doing what you do. Thank you so much, Sue. I hope your friend had a good birthday, too. I need to vacuum. I don't like Master Chef Jr. No, I don't like where the kids cook. I mean, it's nice, like it's 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 heartwarming or whatever, but I don't like heartwarming. I don't really like heartwarming reality TV. <laughs> like it's all fucking fake. So I don't mind being manipulated to like think that some restaurant is terrible or some crap or whatever but when it, when reality tv tries to make me feel emotions it just doesn't work and it makes me angry you know i really i really just like i really like competition shows I'm ready for Survivor to come back. I used to watch a lot of Cutthroat Kitchen, but I haven't in a while. Alton Brown can be a little, like, his brand of, like, hamminess can, can grind on me after a little while, if that makes sense. Well, survival, Survivor is still going, but it's we're between seasons. Like, I'm waiting for the next season to, to start. Pro 
Project Runway is good. Oh, I need a radiator. Oh my god, Cooks vs. Cons is the worst show. It's maybe my least favorite uh, <laughs> Food Network. It can't be my least favorite Food Network show, but I hate it. We just started watching Drag Race. I like. I've just recently been exposed to Drag Race, but a lot. We have been watching a lot of it. I. It's okay. I like it for the. I like it for the competition format. Um, but it's not always. It's not always my cup of Joe. Yeah, it was weird. Uh, last night's whatever was a bit strange. But, I mean, the great thing about long-form competition stuff like that is, uh... Like, it's more, it's more of my boyfriend's thing. It's, you know, he wants to watch it. That's cool. I like competition shows, and it just gets me long form competition. All I gotta do is be like, I don't like that guy. So I have someone to not like for an entire show, and that's really all I need. I really like not liking someone in reality TV. <laughs> so basically, the entire show, I'm like, that person better lose, because I hate that what person. A Pro wrestling, you know, I've said it before, pro wrestling is something that I wish I was interested in. Because it seems like a really cool thing and a really cool community to be a, a part of. But it's just not, like... Eh. Yeah, reality TV villains are great. You know, I... I started watching we started watching Top Model. And I never really watched Top Model before because I was like, they just take pictures. Who gives a shit? But... Top model, top model is really good. There's been some really great seasons of Top Model. <laughs> Boys in the house. It's definitely better when they got... Oh my god, Bachelorette this year has been pretty good. I think... I think... The Bachelor is always better when it's uh, a bunch of guys, a bunch of guys fighting for a girl. It's always it's always more entertaining. <laughs> Elise Explosion, thanks so much for the twenty six months. Twenty six, cool, very cool. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm not an I'm not an impractical joker. Oh my god! I just started. We started watching. Uh, I've already I've already seen most of the seasons of Nathan for you. Um, but we started from the beginning. Last night again. That dude makes me laugh so much. I can't handle Nathan for you. I'm like screaming at the TV during that that show. <laughs> See ya, Furan. I don't I I don't scream at my TV a lot. I do yell at my TV a lot. I yell at commercials a lot. I do yell at the TV a lot. I have encouragement, though. <laughs> I've been told that it's nice, it's fun when I complain. My boyfriend encourages me in my bad behavior. 
I feel bad because he'll put on a show and I'll just like rip it to shreds and I'm like, sorry, I, I don't mind watching it. I don't mean to hate on your show here. And he's just like, no, I like it when you complain. Okay, we're gonna bounce. Four grand. SJC man, 3,894. Thank you for the two months. So glad I got here in time for reality TV chat. And glad to have Big Brother back on this week. I still have not watched Big Brother. I still, I watched, uh, uh, what's the other one? It's not Big Brother. Uh, maybe it was Big Brother that I watched and I stopped watching. I watched, uh, X on the Beach. X on the Beach ended up being pretty good. I think it's almost over. But I thought it was going to be a, a trash dating show, but it was a good dating show in that it's trash, you know. Did anyone watch uh, uh, the new, what's that show? Uh, it's from the Bachelor people, but it's like the pageant where they get married. It's like in between Bachelor and Married at First Sight. They have like a pageant of people. It looks so dumb. I want to watch it. I think it's just called The Proposal? Yeah, The Proposal. Save me from these horrible colors, honey. Okay, Michael. Hello. Oh, hello, my dear. I'm so happy that you offered to help me with house flipping. I hope your offer is still valid. You wouldn't say no to such a wonderful, wonderful person like me, right? Here's the deal. About a month ago, I moved to my cousin's house. She is, I'm sorry to say, an artist. Her artistic soul commands her to live in a house that looks like a Christmas tree. Um, really? Because the wall colors hurt, my eyes cry so much that I can't stand them. Oh, I'm so angry that I'm afraid that the sour look on my face will give me wrinkles. That would be terrible. We have to do something with it, and you, my sweetie, have to help me with it. <laughs> you have to repaint all the walls with normal colors before my cousin returns from the tournée. Toned and quiet colors will be awesome. You know what I like. <laughs> Thank you for everything. And remember to hurry. Loves and kisses, Michael Brand. <laughs> I need a quick break before we run out Michael's house. I will be right back. Quick break. And then we're gonna, we're definitely gonna, we gotta take this job. Uh, uh. Shut up or I'll bust your face! I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right, here we go. This time I'll be right back. I'll be right back. It's definitely working as it's supposed to. I can't... <laughs> we are about to witness the takeoff of the first manned rocket to outer space. We pick up the count. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero! We're off to visit the planets. There are treats galore in the stars. Venus is loaded with candy. And ice cream is found upon Mars. The soda pops isn't on Saturn. When you're thirsty, it sure is the spot. And Jupiter's really jumping. The pop is buttered and hot. But the best of them all is the planet where all of these treats are at hand. And that is the spot we now head for. Our theater refreshments.
Uh, hello? Hello? Can you... Can you hear me? Test, 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 test. Okay. I'm telling you, XSplit is garbage. It's garbage. Switch to the... Where's my game? Where'd the game go? Pixelijah, thanks for the bits. Ooh, are you gonna get it? Anyone, anyone picking up uh, House Flipper? I'm going to, I'm gonna try out that uh, OBS. It's just so slow. Uh, the Dude Mango. Thank you for the four months. Hey, yo, Ian. Uh, so glad I'm able to tune into more of these super chill streams. Changed, um, my name from Trumpster lately and loving it. Thank you for reminding me that. Did you say that before? I hope to catch more streams in the future. Thanks so much, Dude Mango. I'm trying to get the game up, I promise. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to be able to. Like, I li I can't even, br like, I can't click on XSplit. I click on it and it's not, I can't interact with it. Um, so that's a problem. Let's see, can I do this? We can open some mail. I have a lot of mail I need to open. Thank you. Thank you. We got around to it. Uh, sorry if that recent subscriber thing isn't working. I, I can't fix it right now. I think we're... It's it's good that the stream is going. That's, that's all I can really do right now. Okay, so I have a crap ton of mail uh we're just i'm just gonna start from the pile uh this is from andrew package from andrew i took a big old sharpie to everyone's mailing address i'm gonna start doing that i've been really paranoid about showing people's address on stream or something oh i should change my i'm gonna change it to irl for now We'll try and go back to, uh, we'll try and go back to House Flipper in a little bit. Am I still live? Okay. Sorry. It's hard to tell. It's, I froze. I froze on, uh, XSplit, so, okay. The Private Eye, thank you for the six dollars and change. Oh, honey. I'm interested to see what uh, Michael Brand's house looks like. If you would like to uh, send me mail, you can check out my P.O. box in the description. Oh, wow. I sure hope I'm still live. Saxophone Clinton, thanks so much uh, for the six months. Michael, it's only more than a renovation. Okay. This is well. Ooh, it's an Xbox game. It's an Xbox game. Uh, Stubbs the Zombie? Can't say I've heard of this one before. It says it's built with the Halo engine. Oh my god, let me go get the box cutter. I will be right back. I'm gonna go get the box cutter.
I have the box cutter. I'll, I will still use the tiny scissors. Okay, so Stubbs the zombie. Eat brains, possess the living, build a zombie horde, use your body as a weapon. Oh my god, it just... Uh, when it comes to sending me wacky old PC games, uh... How do I say it? There's a possibility that I would review something sent to me, but I would definitely not count on it. I, I'm already getting so much stuff that I can't even guarantee that I'm going to play it. You know? These seem, this seems awesome. I want to play Stubbs. I don't even have time to play the games that I get. But I'm always up for expanding my collection. Dear Mr. Moose, happy late birthday. This is one of my favorite hidden gems on Xbox. Enjoy, and as always, keep up the great work. See you on the VOD. It's Air of the Moon. Thanks so much, Andrew. This looks fun, actually. I don't think I've ever heard of Stubbs the Zombie, but I'm interested. Thank you very much. Want to send me the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie? Someone recently sent me the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. So I got that. I need to get my media list up. So, uh, so you guys can know what I have and what I don't. Next up, I got a package from Jake. This I don't need. I don't need boxing for this. Just rip that open. Well, I kind of, I kind of, I half know what this is. Yes, Jake from State Farm. Jake from State Farm sent me a. Uh, I don't exactly know. It's Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but they're like... They're rat... I don't know exactly. Are they decks? I'm assuming this will explain. Dear Ian, greetings from Utah. I'm Jake. I've been subbed to you for several years now and thought I'd finally send you some mail. You're one of the few I've actually done that for, so feel honored or whatever. It seemed like we had some very similar experiences growing up. I, gen I genuinely lost my shit when you started reviewing DCOMs and the Yu-Gi-Oh vid was a great surprise as the first two seasons were my world in fifth slash sixth grade. Recently, I found myself feeling nostalgic and have been looking at my old cards a bunch. Your red eye story reminded me of a similar experience I had involving a Buster Blader. Anyway, these days I really only collect for nostalgia and artwork, so since I don't really play anymore, I thought I'd send you some cards to show my appreciation for your content as well as my belief that you'll get some more use slash enjoyment out of them. You'll notice they're in two sets. Set B consists of newer cards that I think would be of use to you. I made sure to go through and only send you cards that avoid all the crazy new summoning methods. Uh, set A is composed of both older cards as well as cards that are essentially balanced versions of older cards. Hopefully you dig them and find some ways to implement at least some of them. Anyway, keep up the great work. I hope you dig the cards, and I'm excited for more videos. Best regards, Jake. Ahoy, I'm Harker is the username. Thank you so much, Jake. Mm, what a hamburger. So they're... Uh, which one are the old... A has the older ones. They're, so they're just old cards from his... Uh, collect Mighty Bob Barker. Thanks for the two months. Mmm, what a hamburger. Mmm, what a... Isn't your... Two months sounds low, Bob Barker. 
That doesn't sound accurate to me. Plan on doing more vids with PBG, Space Hamster, Pro Jared. I would work with them again. Easy, for sure. When it comes to videos like that, someone just has to, like, set them up, you know? We're, we're hard to lock down. Holy shit. So there's, like, Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragon... Hollow Dark Magician, Red Eye Slash, I don't know what Red Eye Slash Dragon is, lots of dragons. Legendary Fisherman 2? I remember Mako Tsunami. I do this. I definitely recognize... This is hard to do backwards. It's a lot easier to do. Oh, I remember that guy. Oh, there's a mirror force in there. I would definitely play Pretty Pretty Princess uh, with Jared. Very cool. Thank you so much, Jake. Uh, let's see here. Yu-Gi-Oh does not have mana now. Not a, not a mana-based system. Alright. Now, here's something from Casey. I joined 2010. What did I join in 2010? KC as in the not K dot C dot. KC the full name. With the KC with the C. I mean KC also has a C in it, but KC with more letters. Yeah, we're basically opening a lot of mail, hoping that uh, X Split will unfreeze. Oh, well this is cute. I got a little, it's, uh, I actually, I don't know that I o unwrapped, I don't know if I unwrapped anything this year. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, let's do the card first, what am I doing? I'm getting greedy. Ugh. Oh my god, I love this card! Do I wish you the happiest birthday in the entire solar system? Oh my god! You bet Uranus I do! What, did I say something wrong? There's a maximum crisis pack in here. Look at all these planets. Happy birthday, Ian. I hope it is a great one. You deserve all the happiness in the world. I appreciate not only you and your videos, but also the community that has built itself around you. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and wish you the best of luck in taming the candy monster. Wishing you all the best, Casey. Oh, it's Madam Trash Heap. Is Madam Trash Heap here? Thank you. I hope, P.S., I hope you didn't find the card inappropriate. I couldn't resist the space pun. No, I love this card. Well, we got we got some cards to open. We got more cards to open. I want to know what's in here. Something about candy? It's got to be candy related, right? Something about a candy monster? I think I do have a Spy Kids game for PC. I think in that huge 200 game lot I bought... Oh my god, this is old as shit. The Taming of the Candy Monster. A continuously... Oh wait. This is what candy stands for. 
continuously advertised nutritionally deficient yummies. It's written by that person in the middle, I'm assuming. Oh, there's like notable recipes in here. Finger jello, aggression cookies? I wanna see what an aggression cookie is. Is that really, did I read that right? Aggression cookies. This time-honored classic oatmeal cookie can be enriched by using whole wheat flour. It's a, wait, it's just an oatmeal cookie? I don't see anything about aggression in here. There's a lot of stuff though. Oh, I love the illustrations. I do love oatmeal cookies, it's true. Love a good oatmeal. Mmm, what a hamburger. Hey there, Megan. Thanks for the three months. We're gonna open Maximum Crisis. Is this the one on page 112? Oh no, is this the one that's supposed to come in page 12? I don't remember which cookbook. I get so many cookbooks. Is that the one I'm supposed to look at one? No, 112 is Strawberry Ice, which does sound good. 104? Mm, what a hamburger. I don't remember if this was the one I was supposed to get. 104 is also the middle of a... If your child can't drink milk. Ah. Okay. Mm, what a hamburger. 102, 120, you guys are just throwing out numbers. Are we sure this is the cookbook that's supposed to have it? Yeah, see there's, this is what's on. Milk is not for everybody. Okay, we're gonna open this now. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! yeah. Okay, we got, uh, oh my god, Speedroid Skull Marbles, uh, Bakugan, I can't read that shit, some fairy thing, Speedroid, uh, rubber band plane. Uh, ooh, this looks, this looks important. Majesty Maiden, the true Draco caster. Is this, is this worth anything? Uh, Supreme King Dragon Darkwing. Speedroid Minecraft. Magician's Left Hand. And uh, some bird person. Thank you very much. This seems pretty rare. This one here. Pretty shiny. Man, I love that card. Well, thanks, Casey. I'll put that here. See if I can interact with XSplit yet. Nope, in fact, when I mouse over XSplit, I get the swirly Windows 10 loading thing. So that's good. 
Uh... Okay. Oh my god, I forgot I have letters, too. I got a couple letters. Um... I mean, I'm gonna download OBS, but I can't, like... It would. It has to be over after the stream. I can't do anything. Dude, Mega G, I'm kind of glad it's not just me. It feels like the last four, four or five updates have just progressively made XSplit slower for me. It's... I don't know what the deal is. This is from Taylor. Wait. Dead? Wait. Am I still streaming? Everyone's... Okay, okay. I'm very afraid that I'm just gonna stop. What? What? What is this? What the fuck is this? No. Okay, so this is from... This is from Taylor. Brutal book. Who's that ugly asshole? Huh? And look, it's my apartment. Oh my god, it's an intro. What is this? Dear Ian, happy birthday from all of us. This is a book with letters and fan art from some of your brutal fans. We wanted to make this book to show our appreciation for all that you do and for who you are. We made this book to give back a bit of the happiness and laughs that we get from your videos and streams. Baked Potato, a brutal collection of people unaffiliated to the Brutal Moose brand. Special shout out to Ms. Wallard and Shuri D for making all of the stationaries for the book, to DeWonder Spawns for making it all into one book, and last but not least, Saxophone Clinton for coming up with the idea for this book and bringing everyone together for it. What the fuck did you guys do? Well, I guess you did this. What? Oh my god. Look at all these people that contributed to this. Holy crap! I mean, I, obviously I can't go through and read all these on stream. I mean, these feel like they're gonna be... Oh my god. Oh my god. I love the co can you guys see this? I love the colors on this one. I love the shifty eyes. <laughs> Look at these. What's next? Oh my god, it's my hair. Well, I mean and the rest of me. The rest of me is there too. I'm going to have to sit down and read all these. After I'm done. Oh my god. This one is, uh... Oh my god. Guess who, guess who I'm hanging out with? It's a little hard to see on the camera. I'm on my, I'm on my Animal Crossing date with Bob on stream. Everyone's... Watching. And then we got some Televoid. There's the door. Stinky's there. <sighs> of 
unicorn always wins. Oh my god! It's, it's the crew! We got me, we got Bob, we got Goro, and we got Frank. Oh my god, a classic! Look at my beautiful food. <gasps> Holy shit! That's fucking legit. It's the it's I don't know, you'd have to follow me on Tumblr to know who this is, I think. It's a character I've been working on. That's like a legit like That's like a print, dude. Oh my god, just so much. I don't think I'm emotionally capable of reading this on stream. I think I have to I'm gonna have to take time to... <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Mystery Science Theater, I knew it was only a matter of time. Holy shit! You guys... Too many, I know that there's too many feelings in here. Oh my god. Love the hair. Dude, I got buttercup popcorn. Living the life. Ooh, I love my cassette shirt. It's got one of my song titles on it. Hanging out, being cool, you know how I do. Oh my god. Fucking perfect. I really like, I really like, I love how you drew Bob. The cute little tongue, look, he's little. <laughs> Holy crap, just so many letters, dude. Dude! Televoid tarot cards. This is like six and one. I love the art with the door. Tarot void. Oh my god, I have to read all this! Got a little doodle from, from Shuri. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys aren't allowed to do crap like that. Well... I don't even know how- I don't even know how to... 
What? How do? How am I supposed to read? What do I say to that? Thank you so much, everyone. Holy crap! I look forward to. I'm sure all of the feelings I'm going to be having reading all these notes. It's kind of like a yearbook, but it's like all about me. Well... I don't know... I don't really know how to respond to that. Thank you, everybody. I always feel bad because I feel like... I feel like I'm not good at expressing how much things mean to me, but this means a lot. Anyone sending me anything means a lot. But you guys put so much effort into this. And it, it just means so much to me. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to move on or I'm going to get too emotional, but I'm going to read, I will read those probably all tonight. Thank you, everybody. Uh, well, I got to go for a box after that. Thank you, everybody. This is from Cody. This is a box from Cody. This is not the last mail. I still have two boxes and two more letters after this one. Um, botanically a berry. Thank you for the prime sub. Baritone trans girl, thank you for the four months. Mo chicken, thank you for the 13 months. Hooray, 13 months. No idea what else to say. A baked potato, a baked potato. And Buff Pup, thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much. You can't just make shit like that. You can't just do that to like a person. Okay. Now I have to figure out how to- I hope I don't injure myself on this box cutter. Okay. I figured it out. You're not- probably not supposed to do this towards you, right? Guys. I can't, it's, I have to cut it towards me. You know, in Boy Scouts, they always told me to cut away from me. I never really, never really got on to that. Okay, ooh, we got a disc of some sort. I don't know what the... F Service clerks of the service brigade? I don't know what that is. Anyone know? How far did I get in Boy Scouts? I got to whatever the second level of Boy Scouts is. And I kind of cheated my way there too. And then after that I quit. I don't know what this is. Anybody know what the service brigade is? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got quite a note here. Uh, not that that's a problem. I say that like that's a problem. Uh, do you guys want me to read all of this? I will read all of this, but I don't know if you guys... Dear Ian, 
Uh, my girlfriend and I really enjoy watching your videos. Every day that we see an upload, we sit down for dinner, and instead of discussing our days or enjoying time together, we spend time with your YouTube channel. Okay. Actually, uh, after I got her interested in Brutal Foods, we have worked our way through many of your earlier videos as well. I'm sorry. I am a huge fan of the Brutal Foods and Televoid series, but honestly, everything you upload makes me smile. Enough fanboying. I recently found an old VHS that I had in my collection. I guess I should look at that. And since I no longer have a VCR, I figured you might get some enjoyment out of it. Uh, well, this looks fucking awesome. Uh, mm, what a hamburger. Journey of the S Steel Proof Master? Uh, I don't know what this is, but it looks fantastic. Look at these, look at these kids. Do you see the face back here on, on this other side? This, you see the face? In the background? Mmm, what a hamburger. Oh my god, this just keeps getting better. Journey of the Steelproof Master is a stranger danger educational fantasy adventure designed to educate children about the 10 most common abduction lures used by child predators today. This innovative approach to stranger danger makes it easier for children to comprehend and retain life-saving knowledge. This sounds awesome. Your children will join Eldred the Wizard and his two apprentices, Grimbold and Silver, to the land of Mazak, where they will be introduced to the Ten Evil Warriors. Each evil warrior represents a common abduction lure. This looks incredible. This looks inc This is the kind of VHS I want mailed to me. You find something like this, you buy and you send to me. Don't send to other people, send to me. Okay. Back when my younger sisters and I were starting to discover the Lord of the Rings movies, my parents decided to take us to a child abduction class. More specifically, a class designed to teach children how to identify and respond to predators in safe ways. It also happened to take advantage of the fantasy craze that Lord of the Rings caused. The video, titled Journey of the Steelproof Masters, is about a child who is transported by a wizard to a fantasy world where he needs to learn how to combat the ten evil warriors, which represents different techniques that child predators might use to lure children away. Uh, the idea is actually very interesting and effective in a class setting, but based on what I remember of the video, the entire thing was extremely funny to go back and watch after the class was over. The acting, script, and designs, everything about it was funny, and I figured you might get a kick out of it, or even make a video about it at some point. Just to be clear, I don't want to make it seem like I'm pressuring you to make a video based on this VHS. I just figured that since I can no longer play it, that I would pass the VHS along to someone who might appreciate the effort that someone put into it. Yes. Mail me this. Well, not this. I already have this now, but... Stranger Danger. You see a VHS that says Stranger Danger on it. I also enclosed a DVD that I made when I was a, an assistant manager at a grocery store in the area. I watched the video you did with Chad Tronic, and I know that training videos are more his area, but again, I figured that I would pass this along to someone who might appreciate it. Um, when the Avengers came out, all of the high schoolers in my department were obsessed with the superhero craze. Being a nerd, I was already obsessed with the superhero craze, so I enjoyed using this new common interest to my advantage. Uh, I was put in charge of a training meeting and I decided to make a video explaining the new initiatives the store wanted to promote. One thing I believe is that people are more likely to remember something funny, so I made the worst training video. This is something they made. They made a training video. <laughs> 
uh, imp uh, made the worst training video I possibly could make with a superhero theme. To my surprise, it worked. Employees even came in on their own time simply to watch the training video, which was paired by, uh, with a presentation run by myself. Unfortunately, this backfired on me. My manager was so impressed with the reception that he asked me to make a special copy of the DVD to show the company's CEO with some new videos as well uh, to show off the presentation. The video was shown to the CEO and a few other higher-ups, and they actually liked it so much that it was featured on the company training website. Why would that backfire on you? That sounds awesome. Though I will say, I have had to show work to, like, a CEO before, and it's horribly embarrassing. Horribly embarrassing. So I, I guess I understand that. I no longer work... Uh, for that company and the DVD has been collecting dust in my room So I figured that I would send it out along with the VHS just in case you found something in there that you or anyone else Might want to use keep up the great work And if you want any more information on either of these things feel free to contact me sincerely ace trainer Cody Well awesome uh, I, I can't imagine that I'm gonna get very many homemade uh, training videos. But I'm definitely excited to check this out. Oh my god, this though, this... Actually, this too. I still don't know, you know, I don't really know. I know it's superhero themed, but I don't know what to expect from this. Ooh! There is a, there's a digital version of the Brutal Book? Good, I want, I want that too. I want it just in case. I like having backups of stuff. Okay, well, that's awesome. So far, this has been quite the mail day. Hold on. I just got a disconcerting email. Give me a quick... Uh Nothing terrible, just I need to ch I need to check something. A lot of people have been, or I guess maybe not a lot of people, but someone's been trying to get in into my shit lately, you know? And I gotta make sure they didn't get into this, because that would be bad. See you, Wolf Buns. Are you leaving? Getting snack. Okay. I think everything's okay. I can keep an eye on that though. Okay. More mail. I got more mail. Do cards. This is from Po. Poke, poke Yui, poke Yui. I don't. Do you have to be sub for a certain amount of time to get in the Discord? I think it might. I think it might take a little time, like a, an hour or so, maybe. Someone, someone might have to help you with that. I still don't understand Discord. What? What? Mm, what a Spoil hamburger! Spoiler under the what? 
What? Okay, so here's what here's what I'm experiencing here. I got I don't know what this is. 100 100 stars? I'm not sure what this is. It's like a bill. 100 stars. And then there's also I don't know It's like a Yu-Gi-Oh card and like a silver foil. Oh my god! It's the card I didn't get. Dear Ian, I recently got an amazing day job. And get to move back to my hometown. I found this little treasure uh, while packing up my stuff and thought it would go well with your Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Thank you for entertaining me while I draw silly comics. Stay I recognize this username, don't I? I know too many people on the internet. You guys gotta mail me your avatars. Where's the... I don't know, I just recognize... Maybe I don't recognize. If everything wasn't moving so slow... Okay, I'm gonna have to... Anyway, I wanna, I wanna see what this card is. I think this is the, uh... Are you here? Poke Yui? I'm pretty sure this is a card. This It says the dark side of dimensions on it. And it says uh, for theatrical distribution. When I went to go see this, they didn't have the card. We didn't get them. What's... Oh my god. It's Obelisk. It's Obelisk the Tormentor. I don't want to open this. This is like sealed. I don't know that I can I don't know that I can bring myself to open that. Let me let me look online for a I know that like theatrical promos aren't I don't think they're like the rarest thing ever cuz you just have to go to the movie to get them, but I don't know. I'll have to look it up later because everything is slow. Thank you, Pokeyui. I gotta... I'm gonna have to look up everybody's usernames after this. A card has no value if it's packaged up since you can't actually see it. Yeah, but it stays like... Doesn't it stay better in there? I would assume it's like protected and... Nice. I don't know how to pronounce this last name. N-A-G-E-R? Nager? Nager? I'm not sure who this is from. A. As long as I don't bend it. How do you pronounce your last name? It's Lex. Oh, that's true. That's what the binder's for. But I don't know. I feel like my entire computer is just like slowing to a halt right now. You probably get lots of cards on your birthday, but what about after? When the balloons have withered and the cake has crumbled, who's thinking of you then? Who's looking out for you when the spotlight's off? The spotlight's off. I am. That's who. Me. I'm not late. I'm sensitive. 
Dear Ian, happy third 24th birthday. Uh, we hope you have a blast. I'm glad they make cards like this for people like me who forget how long real mail takes. Anyway, happy birthday. It's from Lex. Lex, Adam, baby, and dog, Lex613. It's okay, I'm telling you, I got bad handwriting too. It, it doesn't matter. Thank you so much for the card. Thank you, thank you. It's going, it's going with, I'm gonna have this great, I'm gonna have this great pile. Basically what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen with all this fan mail stuff. Fan mail is gonna go, it's gonna be nice and organized, nice and cataloged. And then when, when I'm old, or when nobody cares about me anymore, I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna remember the good times, I'm gonna look through everything, and then I'll die. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna go, this is from Rachel. And it says, open on stream if you want. I want. Cut away. I'm cutting away. I'm cutting away from that direction over there. Oh my god, what? Oh my god! It's a pajamas- oh my god, he's so soft! It's a pajama Sam! <laughs> we got a little something on his eye. Oh my god! Ooh! And Barbie Storymaker! It's sealed. Holy crap. All these handmade gifts, dude. Well, n n I'm sure this isn't handmade. I'm sure this is just regular. Hello, Ian. I've been a fan of your content for a few years now, so I thought I'd show my appreciation for your work with a fan mail. <laughs> Perhaps I should have waited until you published your list of games you own, but I've included a computer game that I loved as a kid, Barbie Storymaker. I actually don't think that's one of the Barbie games I have, so worked out. Oh no, I think I cut the letter with the box cutter. It was kind of like not in the box. Uh... With your video editing talents, I'm sure you can whip up a masterpiece. I recommend the... I recommend the people who constantly sit and stand up for the best movies. I'm sure I'll get that, one, get that reference when I play the game. I also attempted to make you a Pajama Sam plushie. He's a tad Frankenstein... Frankenstein's monster-esque. So I hope he doesn't give you nightmares, which would be ironic, given the source material. I've made a few plushies for friends and family, so I hope you like Sam. Please ignore that he has two right hands. Thank you so much for the laughter and joy your videos have given me. And my husband, Alan, he's a fan too. I wish you the best of luck in Twitch, YouTube, or whatever else you choose. All the best, Rachel. Twitch user, Manicophilia. Hey, you're, you're here. Or you were here earlier. P.S. I especially love your We Sing the Best Christmas Ever video. An underrated video. Because I too loved that stupid movie as a kid. I think my mom got it from a mail-order Christian VHS service, so we had tons of weirdly wholesome movies. Hit me up if you need suggestions. Thank you so much, Rachel.
I'm telling you, I need like a sh I need a whole shelf. I need a whole shelf mm, what for hammer. all this cool shit. It's gonna happen. Voltula, thank you for subscribing. The Violent Lolita, thank you for the four months. Fish21, thank you for the prime sub. Slim Shaz... You guys don't understand how soft Sam is. Slim Shazbot, thank you for the 13 months. Don't have anything for the mailbox, but I do have 13 months of support. Also, nobody feel like you have to mail me anything. I appreciate all the mail, but I hope nobody feels obligated to do anything for me. Ever. I don't want any, uh, you know, that's... Uh, no, no, no. And Yoshinam, hey man, thanks for subscribing. Can I keep this? I'm gonna tuck this letter in his in his cape here. There we go. He holds on to the letter, too. Sit him down. Holy crap, you guys. I can't let mail pile up because you're not sending me like random garbage. You're sending me thoughtful things and it's too many feelings in one sitting. I'm not supposed to feel. Uh, obviously, I had to save this for last. This is from Vanessa. And it has, uh, it's got some incredible stickers. It's got some Putt-Putt stickers, a Barbie sticker, an Arthur sticker. It's true, I'm not supposed to feel. That's not supposed to be... Okay. Okay. Alright. Where do I... Here we go, we're going away. Man, box cutters are so sharp. It's so much easier to open a box when you have a box cutter. I know it doesn't seem like it would be, but... Oh, there's a, there's a box in it. We got a box wrapped. Should I put this down while I'm... So on stream, what do people call me? What's the most common thing? I would say people probably call me Ian most commonly these days. Yum, yum. Ian or Moose, probably. Dad, sometimes. Ian. Moosey fuck, yes. That's a new one. Ah! I'm sorry for destroying this carefully crafted. Oh, hey, it's QFC. Lamb, yeah. Dude, Mega G, I can read your name now. You changed it. Don't recall how old I am? I'm 244. 200. uh 77. Holy crap. Okay, I have. I have. Okay. 
Holy crap. Well, I have this lovingly handcrafted letter here. It's got, it's so shiny and purple. Ooh, look at that letter. Can you see the, the sparkle on the side there? And it says, you don't need to read all of this out loud if it's too long. I don't mind reading. I'm more concerned with if people put something in a letter that they don't want me to read to other people. Dear Ian, I apologize if my letter is long. My brother and I have been watching your videos for years. You are our favorite YouTuber. I've been watching your videos since you reviewed Sociolotron. An interesting video to come in on, I'm sure. And my brother caught on soon after. My favorite video I show people to introduce them to uh, is Prison Tycoon 3, and my brother's is The Town With No Name. Over the years, a small collection of games we wanted you to experience built up, and we were ecstatic, ecstatic to find out. Uh, there was a little flap here. He changed. Initially, his favorite video was Facade, but then Brother changed it to Town With No Name. Uh, we were ecstatic to find out you had a P.O. box. We considered sending a cookbook, too. However, seeing that you've received many of these, uh, we found some old films in a second-hand multimedia shop in the U District. It's called Al's, if you're interested. They had Dreamcast games, too. Sorry if some of them don't work, we didn't have time to test them all. I would also like to give some background on the games we sent. Uh, you play a lot of games that I also played as a kid, so all the games here have a good nostalgic sense to them. Uh, do I want to go through the games first? Let's check out the games first. We'll pause the letter. Oh my god. You guys, there's, it's a unique feeling to open, like, a box and, like, see yourself looking at you. This is so good. It's me. The Amazing Transparent Man. So this is probably one of those old, uh, really old movie. 19, uh, I wonder what year this movie is. This is one of those uh, really old movies that someone threw on a DVD and like repackaged it. Like you get this cover and it's like, holy crap, I wonder what that is. And then you look at the screens and you're like, oh, it's like a really old movie. Those are fun, though. I've actually been watching a lot of older movies recently. What is this? Gus Gustafer Yellow Gold's Wide Wild World DVD slash CD disc set. What is this? Who is this? Who is this? Does anyone know who this is? Who is this Lemon Man? Enchanting, full of great pop tunes. What's, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> he looks like, uh... Nacho Cheese Man. But uh, there's he's above a cake. I'm not... I'm not totally sure what to expect. I, I'm assume, assuming the letter has some. Oh no. Creature Comforts America? It looks like Chicken Run. Oh, it is. It's from, uh, it's from the Chicken Run. 
people. We got... Oh. Oh my god. Jumpstart artist. I don't have that. The Neverhood. Familiar with, but have never played. Barbie Explorer. I'm getting lots of Barbie stuff today. Scooby-Doo Showdown in Ghost Town and Secret Agent Barbie. And we good? We good? Okay. Now I want background on Nacho Cheese Man. I'm telling you, on my vector wheel, there's gonna be a Barbie space that takes us to another wheel, because I've got so many Barbie games to play now. I want to know specifically... Uh, Barbie Explorer Barbie. Okay, where did I leave off? I'm not sure if you played any of the Scooby-Doo PC games. I didn't. But I had, like, all of them. Mystery of the Fun Park Phantom, Phantom of the Night, and Showdown in Ghost Town were my favorites. Since you seem like... Since you seem to like history... Wait. Okay. Since you seem to like history, Showdown in Ghost Town seemed appropriate. Have I mentioned that I can't read? Next is uh, the game that was the bane of my childhood, Explorer Barbie. I literally finished it for the first time a few years ago. This game made me cry as a child. It's an experience. Since we're sending you a crummy Barbie game, it would only be fair to send you one of the best games Barbie produced. Secret Agent Barbie. It's amazing. Third is an old claymation puzzle game. My brother and I think you would dig the aesthetic puzzles in gameplay. Beware though, the puzzles are hard if I remember right. Lastly, since you're into art, I've included Jumpstart Artist. I loved this game when I was little. Something worth mentioning that's not included is Journey to the Center of the Earth. It's on Big Fish Games if you search uh, if you search it in the PC games. I remembered it being awesome, but difficult as a kid, and naturally re-downloaded it recently only to find out it may be one of the worst games ever made. I got a lot of laughs out of graphics and glitches, however you will need a guide for it. I also drew a picture for you. All in all, I hope you enjoy the package. Sorry the writing got so crooked. Uh, you don't need to play slash watch everything. Thank you. Thanks for brightening lives. Question mark, question mark. I didn't want to sound awkward, but I did. P.S. If you like bad films, I recommend Birdemic and Amazing Bulk. I've seen Birdemic. I've seen the red letter media on Amazing Bulk. I haven't watched all of it. But thank you so much, Vanny and Victor. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Holy crap. This has been quite a day of mail. Many feelings, many things that I need to still process. They don't know. They didn't say anything about the Lemon Man. I think they just grabbed it. I think... They just grabbed some random DVDs they found at a store. So they may not know anything about the Yellow Man. Uh, but thank you guys so much. I can't... I'm going to have to end the stream because I, I literally can't do... I can't play the game. I don't, even, I don't even know if I can end the stream. I may have to shut my computer down to end the stream because XSplit is just frozen. Um... But thanks, everybody. I 
You know, I needed I needed some good vibes, and this was just a whole a whole bunch of good vibes. Ms. Wallard, thanks for the two dollars. I know that you probably don't like me giving you more stuff after the brutal book, but I just wanted to tell you that your reaction made the four months we spent working on this worth it. All hugs to you, Ian. I do worry about that. I worry that my reaction is not gonna be what people want when they send me. I worry about that in general, though. Like, did I react to that well? <laughs> did I show how I felt correctly or not? Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for the, uh, for the book. Everyone who worked on the book, huge surprise, and I'm excited to read all the really nice letters that are in here. And, um, thanks for all the other, thanks for all the mail. Lots of handmade stuff, really thoughtful gifts. You guys are really sweet, and it means a lot to me. Uh... I guess I have to wrap it up now. I'll try and be back soon. Uh, I know I, I know I kind of there was a gap. I know there's been some gaps, but I'm doing my best. Doing my best. Working on some videos. New videos on the way. And we'll uh, we'll be back with we're gonna be back with the house Reno game at some point, because I really liked it. Thanks, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Have a good... Uh, have a good weekend. And I'll try to be back really soon. If I'm gonna... No matter how I end this stream, I'm gonna feel guilty that it doesn't... I feel like there should be more that I should do after being shown such kindness. You know, you want to like repay that, but I don't know. I don't have, I have a box cutter. That's all I have. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna try and figure, I guess I'm gonna try and fix XSplit or download Streamlabs so I don't have this problem next time. Thank you so much, here I go. Thanks, everybody. Uh, where's the music coming from? Okay. Bye-bye. I'll try and be back soon. Oh, my God. Oh, there it goes. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Is my mic off? Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Is my mic Good off? Good night. Hello? Uh, okay. I don't understand how I'm supposed to close it if I can't... It's just the spinny wheel. Can I get task manager out? Oh my god, even task manager is just blank. It's blank. Task manager is not responding. Oh wait, it responded. It responded. Oh my god. Oh my god. XSplit has 38 instances running? What the fuck? What does that mean? Has that even happened?